Hold on tight, everyone. The Earth is getting a visitor, and not just anyone, but a brand new moon. You definitely shouldn't miss this, because this second moon is a very rare phenomenon. Make sure to stay until the end for the recordings of our new moon. Welcome, everyone. What is better than a romantic date with the shining moon in the sky? Right, a romantic date with two moons in the sky. For more galactic dating tips, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free. You'll never miss another space video, and you'll be helping me and the channel immensely. Thank you very much, guys. So now let's get started with our new cosmic companion. Its name is 2024 PT5. Sounds a bit like the code name for a top secret space project, but in reality, it is an asteroid that will soon be getting up close and personal with our home planet. Drop me a line in the comments and tell me what you would call the new mini moon. I think we need a better name than 2024 PT. How about Heinz? I'm very curious about your comments, but I can already hear some of you being surprised. An asteroid as a moon? How is that supposed to work? You're crazy, Tim. Imagine the whole thing like a kind of cosmic roller coaster. Usually asteroids just rush past us. Sometimes they get dangerously close. 2024 PT5, on the other hand, will be so strongly attracted by the Earth's gravity that it will enter into orbit around our planet. A bit like jumping off the roller coaster. And to take an extra round on the carousel next to it before he flies off again, does that make any sense? I once asked the AI how it imagines the Earth and the mini moon. I was not disappointed. That would be a very good profile picture for the Earth at Planet Book or something. Our new cosmic buddy was only discovered on August 7th of this year. The ATLAS project, which stands for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, was responsible for this. Sounds complicated, it is, but basically it is a sophisticated system that scans the sky for potentially dangerous celestial bodies. In this case, they didn't find any world destroyers, but they did find an exciting new roommate for our astronomical shared flat. And this roommate won't take up much space. With a diameter of about 10 meters, 2024 PT5 is about the size of an average single-family house. Imagine waking up in the morning and a complete house is flying by in the sky. However, our new lunar companion will remain at a safe distance. But now comes the exciting part. When can we expect our cosmic roommate? According to experts' calculations, PT will enter Earth's orbit on September 29th of this year. And here comes the kicker. It will stay with us for exactly 56.6 days before disappearing back into the vastness of the solar system on November 25th. So it's a very pleasant guest. It doesn't take up much space and it'll be gone eventually. Although it doesn't pay any rent either. Okay. Such a lunar parasite. But why doesn't it stay longer? The Earth's gravity is strong enough to capture PT temporarily, but not strong enough to hold it permanently. It's a bit like trying to hold onto a wet fish. At some point, it just slips through your fingers. <coughs> Interestingly, PT5 is not the first mini moon that Earth has captured. In 2006, for example, we had a visitor named 2006 RH120 who stayed with us for a whole year. And just four years ago, 2020 CD3 said goodbye after several years in Earth's orbit. You could almost think that Earth runs some kind of space bed and breakfast or something. But what does this mean for us here on Earth? If the full moon is now twice as bright, we need to worry about spring tides. No panic, PT, Pluto, is far too small and too distant to have any noticeable effects on Earth. You will neither hear werewolves howling nor suddenly enjoy twice as much moonlight during your romantic dates outside on the meadow. But you can charm your sweetheart with exciting facts about the new mini-moon. Nevertheless, the arrival of our mini-moon is incredibly exciting for scientists. It is a unique opportunity to study a celestial body up close. Imagine being able to examine an object from the early days of the Earth, billions of years ago. That's exactly how astronomers feel now, only on a cosmic scale. PT5 could provide valuable information about the early history of our solar system. The origin of our new visitor is particularly interesting. The experts suspect that it belongs to a group of asteroids called the Arjuna's asteroids. These celestial bodies have orbits that are very similar to Earth's orbit. One could say they are our space neighbors who drop by for a coffee every now and then, 
or in this case, for a two month stay. Now you might be wondering, but Tim, if the Minimon is so small, can we even see it? Theoretically, yes, but it will be a bit tricky. With an absolute brightness of 27.6 million astronomical units, PT5 is much too faint to be observed with the naked eye, or even with most amateur telescopes. However, with expensive sky observation equipment, it is perfectly possible to see it, and don't worry. The major observatories will of course keep a close eye on it. What fascinates me personally about the whole thing is the precision with which we can calculate the orbits of celestial bodies today. I mean, imagine this. We can predict that a 10 meter wide rock millions of kilometers away will orbit the Earth for exactly 56.6 days. That's like predicting the flight of a mosquito for the next 100 years. Sometimes I wish I had paid better attention in math back then so I could calculate things like that. But unfortunately, I was always getting chalk. And do you know what the best part is? Mini moons like this could play an important role in space travel in the future, because we could perhaps capture an asteroid and use it as an intermediate station for trips to the moon or Mars. A captured mini moon as a kind of cosmic gas station, if you will. It has a bit of a feel of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, don't you think? So what can we learn from all of this? First, the universe never stops surprising us. Secondly, even small things can have a big impact. A 10 meter asteroid can cause the entire astronomy community to go into turmoil. And thirdly, it's always worth looking up. You never know what you'll discover. And finally, a little note. While PT revolves around the Earth, the Earth orbits the Sun, the Sun orbits the center of the Milky Way, and the Milky Way also rushes through the universe, which is expanding. We are all part of this cosmic dance, and sometimes a new dance partner joins in. The more I think about it, the more my head bursts with cosmic fascination. Write me in the comments if you know the feeling and how you would call it. I think cosmic fascination describes it quite well, but it is somehow even more, somehow overburdening through fascination. If you want to stay updated about our new mini moon, subscribe to the channel now. And now we are traveling from space to Greenland. There was a monster tsunami with a wave more than 200 meters high, higher than the Cologne Cathedral. Incredible. And now comes the kicker. This monster tsunami can be felt as far as Europe. No joke, folks. You can find out everything about it in the video in the top right hand corner. Take a look. It's very exciting. And if you want to support my channel, feel free to check out the older videos. There are still lots of exciting topics and every click helps. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, guys.